Apologies for the alarm that's going off in the background. Uh, we're extending some phone lines. Here's our conduit. Uh, in this case, we're going to run a 25 pair, uh, which sits on this. Uh, we're going to mount some brackets first. These brackets uh, will hold our uh, Bex block. And uh, of course, we label everything. Don't label with a sharpie that nobody can read later. Uh, so, 25 pair cable uh, comes on a spool. Uh, we've stuck it on a ladder with a, uh, a paint roller. Well, I know that's trying to hold it. You gotta double tape this. And we're also uh, running a pull string uh, in case uh, somebody else needs to use this conduit. And you just want to pull. Uh, it's, uh, we probably should have used some lubricant. Even though it's a uh, a big conduit, uh, it's a little bit tough. But 25 pair cable, uh, it can take some force. On the left you can see uh, we've got another bracket. Sometimes you have to pull it back and forth if it's uh, getting stuck. And it's stuck. Okay, Paul. You want to be careful here. It's okay now. How much cable do you have? Lots. How much do you want? We got enough. Okay. Now you want to peel uh, your 25 pair. Oh, huh? Yeah, it is. That's what I was looking for. Uh, yeah. And then onto your Bix connector, uh, you want to secure it with the little zip ties. Now, and then you want to put each Kay. cable in according to the color code. Uh, there's a 25 pair color code you can find on uh, Wikipedia, and then just punch it down and uh, make a nice service loop.
put your block in the bracket uh, and don't forget your labels we also ran a cat sex line uh, as well just in case